Hello friends, I've had a uh, good friend and subscriber ask how to size 4K video, I guess down to 1080p, he didn't really specify that, but how to size like a whole lot of clips. And so what I have here, I have a big project with a lot of 4K video in it. You can see here, just a scad of 4K video. Let's just, let's do what I think he wants me to do. I'm going to go to file and we're going to say new, we're going to do new sequence and we could just end the uh, Command in. I'm using a Mac to do this. You could do Control in on a PC, and I'm going to pick 1080p 24. You can see over here all this is 24p, but it's it's 4k video. If I were to hover over, it's all 4k. So I'm going to call this resize. Now there are a couple ways to do what he's wanting to do, but there are different reasons to do it different ways. So I'm going to kind of set aside. I'm going to show you both ways real quickly. So let's take every bit of this, and if we hover over that, we can see right quick, it is 3840 by 2160, it is 4K video. So I'm gonna click on the first one here, I'm gonna drag down to get a whole bunch of them. And I'm gonna hold the shift key down, and that, I've selected a bunch, I'm just gonna drag them over here on this sequence. So now uh, I've got the option of either changing the sequence, if I change the sequence, it becomes a 4K sequence, uh, which is not 1080p, or I can keep the existing settings, and I am going to do that, and the 4K is not going to fit in there, right? It's going to be way too big. So I'm going to click Keep Existing Settings for now, because I think that's what my buddy wants. And this is some downtown video from a Walt Instagram Festival. It's called Invalides. And so this video, if we, were to, if we were to click on this, here, this Stingray, if we click on this video, and we go up here to Editing, or excuse me, excuse me, to Effects Control, and we're at 100%. If we if we start scaling this back, I'm going to twirl this little, the little diamond thing down here, half diamond. Then we'll see there's a whole lot more video because this is 4K video inside a 1080p frame. So let's say as my, as my friend is asking, he wants to do a whole bunch of it so he doesn't have to individually change each one of these. Really the best way to do this is to, is to uh -huh. I like to just go to the first one if I'm going to batch do a whole bunch of these. This is my first clip. And 4K video is exactly four times bigger than 1080p. The thing that's kind of cool is, even though you think that by going 50%, you, you're, you're going to only half, you, you really 50% of 4K, uh, 4K down to 50%, it actually still is uh, four times bigger than 4K video, but 50% brings you down to where you can fit it into a 1080p. It's hard for me to explain mathematically. I could, I could draw it out easier. If I were to twirl this down, we were to go 1% less than 50, you'd start to see black around the edges, see? Which you don't want. So 50% is exactly it for your 4K. So once I have sized this one here, I can click on Motion and do Command-C or Control-C if you're on your PC. Let me drag forward just a little bit so we can watch this happen. So here's uh, another really cool looking, there's motorcycles and stuff. Now what I can do, I can select, drag across every one of these now. I don't want to drag across the one that's already been made 50% or I'll be making it 50% of 50%. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Command V or Paste. And I'm going to say Command V or Control V if you're doing a PC. And now every single one of these videos have been knocked down to 50%. Every single one, if I click on any of these and look up here, I can see. Now this holds true for anything that you copy out of this effects control here. Any effect, let's say you did color correction on one clip or you did a vignette or you did, uh, I don't know, a, a soft blur or you, you changed the brightness contrast, anything that you do. If you add an effect, you can click that. You can click that effect. Let's say I did brightness contrast or something. I won't do it, but it's about if I did go in here and did B R I R I, and I picked brightness and contrast, and I pulled it onto one of these, and I changed my brightness contrast settings. All I would have to do is click on motion, and then hold my command key down or control key, and click on brightness contrast, and I could I could I could do both of these. I could I could select this one and this one, do a copy, and paste them to every single one down here. Doesn't matter if you have ten different effects. Whatever you select and copy, you can paste to all those, and it automatically does it. So within just a second, just a quick click, you've done this. So let's look at doing it a, a, the other way. Naturally, would be just to do all of your 4K video. Let's do another sequence. File new sequence. And we'll call this uh, all vid 
4K. We'll say OK. Okay, so now I'm going to select a bunch of 4K video. I'll hold my shift key down and get all of this. And I'll pull it onto the timeline. And now I'm going to let it change the sequence settings. So now we are actually working in 4K video. Every one of these, the sequence itself is now a 4K video. If I were to click on this and hold over it, you'd see it's 3840 by 2160. And, and so, you know, one of the, the answers to my friend, if he's, there's two reasons to do this. If you wanted, if you wanted to have this, this, this way is the one where we've gone ahead and changed all the video to, let me mute this for a second. Um, this is one where we've gone and we've changed all the video and we've sized it down, right? So this, this is all now uh, in 1080p and it's all been sized down. The only reason I could imagine you'd want to do it this way is if you want to be able to use those 4K extra pixels. Let's say we're watching this bit of this baseball clip here. I'm going to click a C to, to cut this. And let's say I want this part of it to be uh, wide like this and then I want this part where the guy swings and misses to go to 100%. Then what I can do, I'm going to click my V key. My V key is going to put me back as a pointer here. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to size this up. And I'm going to, and so, in other words, if you want to be able to have those extra 4K clips that you, where you can use for zooming like this, watch. See, there you go. You're able to use it, use it for a zooming effect. Then you want to do it this resize way here where you actually size everything down 50% and then bring it up. You're still inside a 1080p window here. You're just using your extra pixels to be able to focus in on a certain area. But let's say you want to just edit all the 4K video. Then the best way to do is to, at the very end of this, when you go to export, let's say file export media. And when, when the export settings come up, let me resize this a little bit so we can see it better. When the, when the uh, export settings come up, you can just tell it not to be uh, 3840 by 2160. What you might do then at this point would just be turn that off and do 1920. And it should automatically go to 1080. And so what that does when you do your render, when you go when you render this out, you can go down here and change your your bit rate and everything to to suit your needs. But when you render this out, every bit of this video will be 1920 by 1080. It'll just be 1080p video. And so in other words, this method you would be if I, I'm going to cancel that for now. But if I were to, if I were to export that, all my video that comes out that goes up to YouTube is going to be 1920 by 1080, and I haven't resized anything. And honestly, that's the easiest way to do this if you don't want to be using this kind of thing here. I do kind of, if I'm doing 1080p video, uh, if I know it's going to be 1080p, I like to do it this way because it does give me the flexibility to go in here. And if I have a, uh, if I have a uh, setup here, some, some something I want to look at, let's say I do want to do this. And I do want to be able to see where this batter is getting ready to take off and hit here. And I can do this V again, the V King thing here again. And I will go up, let's go all the way up to 100%. And then I can drag this around left and right to center up what I want in the video. So then I've got this sort of deal here. We're looking at it wide. And then suddenly we got this. This gives me almost the effect of having another camera because I've got this just automatically something I can jump to right fast. So there you go, folks. This is. The best answer I can give for resizing it and kind of how I would do it doesn't take long to do it. Do your first clip if you bring your 4K, for your 4K in and uh, copy that, whatever you've done as far as sizing it down, 50% works. Also, if you're doing 2.7K video, this works as well. If you bring your 2.7K video in, I think it's like 71%, it gets you down to 1080p if you want to size it all down. Just make, make your first one. Uh, get it get it sized right, copy the motion settings, which gets your scale, and then paste it to every single one of these, and it takes care of that for you. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.